Most of the inhabitants are descendants of the slaves that were imported from Africa to work on the plantations. Just a hundred years ago, Great Britain abolished slavery. Today, the Jamaican Negro is a happy, enlightened, law-abiding citizen, loyal to his government, of which he is very proud. Most people hear about 1938, but they don't know about the events and the happenings of the government of 1938. You see, in 1938, there was a lot of unrest. In those times, you know, Cain was the other of the day. It was mostly Cain work you could go and get, or you could go by the dock. I can remember working on the estate. You have to work overtime. I just working for a few shillings. God be teach you say black is golden, but yes, sir. Them things sugar is gold. Because I can remember William Grant and Bustamante organizing a meeting and the police came and beat the people with button. People have to be running over each other when I see police beating the people out the streets. We had enough of this now. It was time for a change. And when them now listen, they must feel. A.J. Coombs, Aggie Bernard, and Alexander Bustamante, just to name a few, were some of our brave heroes who positioned themselves 
as advocates for this change, representing the rights of these downtrodden workers. Our labor leaders risked their lives, risked their livelihoods, and marched through the streets of Jamaica in protest of an age-old system that had to come to an end.